Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Bitter cold will continue all weekend, and we have the chance for some snow. No snow out there right now, though. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, nice and quiet in that department. Threat tracker for tonight, remaining bitterly cold with wind chills dipping below zero at times. Tomorrow, pretty cold. But later in the day, we'll see some uh, snow develop. A few inches possible in spots, especially near the south coast. We're likely going to be seeing some slick travel develop on Saturday. On Sunday, bitterly cold with strong winds and below zero wind chills. Once again, pretty much all day on Sunday. Newport, we've got clear skies at the moment. A temperature of 12, wind from the northwest at 5, bringing that feel-like temperature down into the single digits. 4 degrees in Smithfield, 8 in Taunton. Let's see what the winds do. Brings the uh, wind chills down to zero in Newport. Negative nine wind chill factor right now up in Smithfield. Feels like three in Providence. Monitoring this area of snow right in here associated with a weather system that's going to be working its way eastward during the night. Another area of low pressure will develop off the coastline over the next 12 hours or so. It's actually kind of taking shape right now. It'll be passing on off to our south and east during the nighttime tomorrow night, bringing with it some snow to us here in southern New England tomorrow. Let's track it with our future cat. 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Sun giving way to clouds. We'll see the snow begin to overspread the area during the afternoon hours, maybe a couple hours earlier than I was thinking earlier this evening. So by 5 o'clock, we're looking at snow pretty much everywhere. And by midnight, this is all gone. We'll see the skies dry out, clear out tomorrow night. But a bitter cold day on the way for Sunday. So here's how it all works out. For Saturday morning, we'll see temperatures starting out in the single digits, getting up to about 20 by noontime. Temperatures hold steady there throughout the afternoon noon and into the evening with snow developing. We'll see the snow anytime after 2 o'clock, continuing right into the evening until about 10, 11 o'clock or so at night. And then it should be done after that. How much? 1 to 2 inches south of Providence, right along the coastline, including westerly Narragansett, maybe Newport, parts of Little Compton over into New Bedford, Cape Cod, the islands, including Block Island, 2 to 4 inches of snow possible. In the Providence area, about an inch north and west of the city, coating to an inch. It'll be super fluffy snow as well. Seven day future cast. We are looking at a bitterly cold day on Sunday everywhere, including up in Foxborough. Temperature there game time about 15, but feeling like zero degrees or even colder than that with that wind chill factor. For Monday, bitterly cold day here as well. Looking at temperatures only rise into the teens after starting out around zero. We're looking at a wind chills around zero much of the day. For Tuesday, we're looking at cold weather. A little warm up Wednesday up to 29. On Thursday, we're monitoring for the potential of, a, of an ocean storm. At this point in time, it looks like it's too far away to give us any significant snow, but some snow showers are possible. We'll watch that one closely. Friday looks cold, 18 degrees with sunshine. So no major warm ups anywhere in sight. Basically keep the scarf and the mittens and everything around for the foreseeable handy. future. Yes, All right, layers. DJ, thanks. Coming up next on Eyewitness News at 11, caught on camera, 